Hey everyone, I want to go on a tour and take you through my uh, football spreadsheet and kind of walk you through everything that you'd uh, need to know. So the first time you get the spreadsheet, what you want to do is put your login here. You put your login and password in and then press refresh logins. You only got to press refresh logins the first time you use it. After that, just keep your login and password in and, and you'll be set. So now what the um, first step you do like every week you want to click refresh this week's data. So what that's going to do, that's going to pull in all the information for um, all the players, all the games and everything. So you're going to press that. It'll take a minute or two. And then what it's going to do, it's going to, it'll update all the games. I'm not going to press it because it's just a matter of time. But it, what it's going to do, it's going to update all the games. I just uh, pressed it. It updated all. This is week five. All the week five games, all the, all the um, over-unders. And it also updated the stats. So we're gonna go on the stats page. It's got all the players and it's got like all their all the important stats, which I'll um we can uh, go over them. So it's got uh, all the players. All the players come from FanDuel. It's got the, like their opponent, their home away, their FanDuel salary, and then it's got the DraftKings salary, Yahoo, Victive, and it's also got Fantasy Aces salary. I, we got the injury status here on uh, what the players are expected to do. We got the Vegas stuff, the line, the over-under, the weather, um, like if it's a dome, if it's clear, and so on. Uh, let's keep scrolling over. We got projections. I pull in uh, projections from Numberfire. Uh, you can you can upload your own projections. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. Uh, Fantasy Sharks, Fantasy Pros, my projections, and uh, Evan's projections. We got their rank, their defensive rank against... Um, certain positions you got your basic 2015 stats here all just like your rushing yards per game receptions per game and so on you got targets um, we got the, the red zone stats red zones um, important for the if, for the touchdowns uh, 2014 all the similar stats and the 2014 red zone stats and then we get some uh, some extra stats here here's um here in column CC is the uh, average fantasy points this player got. Like uh, Aaron Rodgers, in this year and last year, uh, he averaged 22.43 fantasy points a game. However, the home or way depends whether they're playing. This week, Aaron Rodgers is at home. He averaged 26.8 points per home, so he's, he's a lot better at home than on the road. And here is just for the opponent. Uh, Andrew Luck, he, um, he played this opponent that he's playing this week already in 2014, so they got how many points he had then. Uh, this point average variance, this is just kind of the volatility. Basically everyone starts off at 100% volatility. The higher the number is the more volatile they are. Like The lower the number, the more the safer picks they are pretty much. So someone like, um, here are all these lower numbers like this point six four. Antonio Brown is a pretty steady player. He's got a pretty high um, floor He's a lot safer for um, for your cash games, but if you want to look for someone with a, a higher number, like here, Kelvin Johnson, he's more likely to have the big two touchdown game, but also kind of gets shut down where he's not going to get a lot. So he's better for the, the tournament plays. So you want the higher number for those. Uh, we got the um, salary increases and the, um, the FanDuel dollars per target. So there's uh, quite a few stats in here. And then our, what our next step is, is to transfer the players. Once you refreshed all the data, here's all the teams. And now you have to decide which players do you want to transfer to your lineups to run the lineups. Um, since right now it's Friday, I'm click no for the Thursday game, but I'm going to transfer all the other games. But if you're just playing, say, the 4 o'clock slate, you can just put these as yes. You can click transfer players. And what it's going to do, it's going to take you to the, um, the lineups tabs. And there's three different lineup tabs. The first one is just the, the basic one that run, uses Solver, and it's got a, a lot of different uh, options you can choose. Here you can tell how many lineups you want to pick. Uh, the scoring variance is just the difference between each lineup. Say uh, the first lineup comes up at 100, you want the next lineup to be 100 less whatever this is. So just if you have a higher number here, that's just the more difference in players that you'll have. If you want to stack a team, you can pick the uh, player here and how many players you want to stack. 
Um, this one here will just be if you want to clear the in includes and excludes. I'll show you that in a second. Um, the weight, it's set as normal. If you set it as normal, it's going to just go by the basic projections. If you set it for high risk, all those players with a high volatility are going to get ranked a little bit higher when you run this. And if you set it for cash game, all those players with the low volatility are going to get ranked a little higher. Or you can now, or you can just set it as normal and go straight off the projections. Uh, let's see down here. We can which projections do you want to use? We got six different sets of projections. I'm set it all at mine at 100 percent. Let's say you want to do a blend. You can do 50 percent of mine, 50 percent of number fires. How it just has to total to 100. Um. Other than FanDuel, I think all the other ones have a flex spot. So you could put, if you want to, positions of the flex spot. It can be any position, or you can have uh, running back or receiver if you want to specify what it is. And here's all the players. You could, If you want to include or exclude certain people, like if you want to have, um, say, Forte in all your lineups, you can click Include. And say you don't want Beckham in, in any of your lineups, you click Exclude. And then when you're all set to go, click the button on which um, lineup you want to run, and it'll go through Solver, and it's going to run it. I'm not going to go through it just for the purpose of the time. But then once it runs it, it's going to take you to this page, which is your the lineup page. And here's the lineup that I ran. Um, it's got Rogers, Gurley, Matthews, and, and so on. Um, what you can do after you run it, gives you a couple options. You can do an injury status. So if I click this, it's going to take you to the injury status of all the players in your lineups. It says John Brown likely will play, Charles Clay um, will play, and it, it'll just tell you a little information about him. So now you don't have to worry about um, checking for injuries if you if you run a lot of lineups, because you can run up to 200 lineups. I mean, it's control all the way down to 200 lineups. Or you can export it to CSV. Um, DraftKings lets you upload a CSV file. I believe FanDuel does too. I'm not totally sure. But I, I know you have to have an extension to, um, I think, the Chrome extension. I'll um, put instructions on how to do that um, in another spot. But you can export it to CSV and it'll come up to a file that looks like this. But it'll just be a CSV pot file. Then you can um, you can upload it and these will be your, uh, all your lineups. All, all set ready to use it right in your... Um, in your lineups there. So that's the multi lineups tab. I want to do the multi lineups 2 tab. This uses solver also, but it doesn't use projections. This, for something like this, what you would do is rank the players from 1 to 5. You might not have projections. You might not want to go exactly by projections. Sometimes I don't always feel like going by it, but I just go by the positions that I like. So you can do a filter and say here's the quarterbacks. All the quarterbacks are set. Say, like, I really like Brady, so I'm going to put a 5 in there. All these other ones I'm skipping aren't going to come out in any lineups. Say Carson Palmer, I kind of like. I'll put a 3. Dalton, I want him in a few lineups. Uh, we'll put him in a 2. And it's basic range from 1 to 5. Anyone from 5 is going to come out in the most lineups of anyone. Anyone with 1 will come out in a, in a couple lineups. If you don't have anything in there, they're just not going to come up in any lineups. And you can go through, I kind of like car, I'll put a 4 in there, he's got a low price. And then you have to do that for every position. Go to running back next. You can put all your positions in there. Uh, Eddie Lacy I really like, uh, Hyde I somewhat like. Um, Charles I just want to maybe on a few lineups. You got to make sure you put a bunch enough of low price guys in there in order to get Solver to find actually find lineups. And then when you're all set, you're going to click filter to leave this alone. It'll tell you how many there are. I mean, you should have at least, I mean, probably like for the receivers and running backs, because if it's going to pick two or three, you probably want to have at least double that amount of selections in there. Tell how many lineups you want. Then you can run a FanDuel or DraftKings lineup. And that's actually one that I had done just before. And you can see I had ran Aaron Rodgers. It'll show the salary. It's not going to show projection because... We're not doing a projection. We're just doing it based off our rankings. And what it'll, it, you can run as many lineups as you want, up to 200. And uh, that's how you can get lineups with that one. And the last one is the bulk lineup. This is not going through Solver. This is going through my own programming of, like my own Solver, sort of. But you can get lineups fast. You can get... I. 
you got it set to get about a thousand lineups and you can do it in maybe two three minutes and it's got a little more flexibility too you can pick which site it's only on three of the sites i'm happy for FanDuel, DraftKings, and yahoo if you want to stack a certain team and how many you want to stack and you can put um if you want to include a stack like a quarterback to wide receiver combo yes or no and again it's got all the different uh projections which one you want to use you use mine you can use a blend to someone and then when you're ready you press run the lineups i'm not going to do it because i don't want to sit here for three minutes but here is all the lineups that i had run and if you see if we go down this is just the one a smaller one i just did 200 lineups on here i deleted all the ones above that but there's i mean you can get 200 lineups all ready to upload and then if you scroll over to here i've got a csv button you click this and it'll create the CSV file for you that you can upload right into uh, right into DraftKings. So that's it for the lineups. What else I want to go through? Are, let's see the projections. You can add your own projections. If you have your own projection system, you can copy and paste the names here. If you happen to pr put a wrong name in here, say you had spelled Julio Jones wrong, say a W in there, it's going to tell you there's an error. Because what it has to do, it has to match up with the stats page. It has to match up with this in order to be able to fill it in. What it's going to do once you copy it into here, it's going to it'll see how Julio Jones is 25. You're going to put all your projections in here, and then you're going to press this to add it, and it's going to add it to the stats tab. And then in order to add it to the, your multi lineups, you, again you have to go back to the main tab and click transfer players. Because this transfer will just take everything from the, the stats and move it onto your multi lineups. So it's just, I mean, it's just little stuff to get used to, but I think overall this is a good tool that will uh, help you with your lineups. Uh, let's see, we've got game logs. If you want to see a person's game log, you can do a filter. And say you just happen to be looking up, whatever, say AJ Green you wanted to find. Click OK, and it's going to pull up all their lineups from 2014 and 2015. And scroll over, you see what the what the line was, what they're over under, how many fantasy points they got. So there's quite a bit of information here. Uh, the last tab is site info, it just kind of tells about the sites and what their scoring is. Uh, and I also have a leaders tab too, which kind of tells just like the best players at each position. Like here's the best dollars per target, uh, best plays based on uh, projections per dollar. So right here, Phillip Rivers looks like the best play for quarterbacks, but you can do a drop down and change it to uh, say running backs. Click OK. And Gurley's the best. Um, see, it's based on my projections, but uh, here's the FanDuel salary, and here's your top plays. Scroll down a little more, there's a few other large salary increases. You might look into that or um, the history versus opponents. And that is it. That's kind of a review of everything. I wanted to give a good overview so you can sit and uh, understand the process of how this all works. So, again, as always, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.